Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at the broom package. Now the broom package is a nice, simple, straightforward enough package from the tidyverse, okay? Well, I'm not actually sure if it counts as a tidyverse package precisely, but it's sort of there or thereabouts. It's more or less as a tidyverse package. So essentially what the idea is to uh, convert statistical analysis objects into tidy data frames, okay? So we'll have a look at that shortly, okay? Now, essentially, there is three sort of main commands. Tidy, augment, and glance. Okay, now the tidy one is straightforward enough. It actually just turns something into a data frame. Okay, so um, I'm going to install it here. Okay, I have everything ready there. So it's just actually, when I'm using Azure Notebooks here, it doesn't come automatically loaded up. And I'm going to upload, uh, have Magritte ready, the pipe operator. And I'm also going to, there we are, library broom. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually just to start off is I'm going to fit a linear model, okay, using a very simple inbuilt data set called empty cars, okay, and I'm just going to save it as my model. So I'm not, I'm actually, it's not saved as my model there, it's in the next one it's saved as my model, but essentially that's just this very simple linear regression model, and when you run that, that's what you get essentially okay so um what typically you would do in undergraduate statistics or when you're learning statistics for the first time with r is you might save it as a as a as some sort of object and then get the summary of that object okay so the summary of that object is what we're particularly interested in here okay so look at that that's actually you know it's quite informative there okay it's sort of spread out all over the page but uh you know, it, it, there's a lot going on there, but um, what we're going to do there is try and see, this is the main bit that we need, okay? There's a lot going on there, but this is the main bit that you really need, okay? If there's other things you need, you can go and chase after them separately, okay? Now, there's this stuff down here as well, okay? And we'll come back to that shortly, okay? So the first thing is the tidy function, okay? And this constructs a data frame that summarizes the model's statistical finding, the coefficients, the p-values, whatever you need, okay? So for the model I just fitted there, I fitted a very simple linear regression model uh, with two independent variables, okay? And there we have the estimate, the standard error, the statistic, and the p-value. And the p-value is the thing you really, really want, okay? So... Um, you could save that as, uh, so there you are, we save it there as my tidy model, okay, and essentially what happens is that it turns into a data frame, okay, and just like data frames, it's got columns, and we can pick out the columns, so for example, we want to pick out the p-value row, there we have it there, okay, so let's just round that. To a couple of decimal places just to make it a little bit easier to read okay so what did i do i missed the second percentage sign okay probably a bit too close but anyway so that's a very simple enough idea actually just a sort of essentially what it does it just takes out this bit and makes it into a nice tidy data frame okay now there's a lot going on with the other stuff, like the stuff about the residuals is interesting as well, but that's actually quite easy to pick out, but I'll do that sort of separately, it's just a separate question altogether. Uh, the stuff at the bottom, we'll come back to that shortly. Now, the augment function adds columns to the original data set that was modeled, okay? This includes predictions, residuals, and whatever you need, okay? So what we're gonna do here is my model, and we're gonna augment my model there. Okay, there we go. So this is empty cars, okay. Now, it's not uh, it's not using the entire empty cars data set. It's actually just using a subset of, well, I'm using MPG and weight there. So it has miles per gallon and it has weight. You can put in cylinder here as well. Uh, yeah, cylinder, just put in cylinder there as well. Just update it there, so. And what happens here is that we get the fitted value there beside the observed value, okay? And the standard error, the residual, and these other things here, the, the hat um, value, 
um, which this is the one I'm interested in. These are uh, model diagnostic tools. And what we have there is the Cook's distance. The Cook's distance is probably the most interesting one. These are Cook's distances are ways of detecting very unusual values. Okay. Now, just so, some little peculiarity is that row names there is. Uh, this is just a sort of peculiarity of the empty cards data set, but essentially we'll just get the case numbers usually. Okay. So that's it. That is how to. You know, get our residuals, get our standard errors for each, our Cook's distances, and so on, into one nice tidy data frame, uh, in the get go. Okay, well, without without stopping. So the last one is the uh, the glance, and this constructs a concise one row summary, such as R squared, adjusted R squared, and so on. Okay, so here we have the glance for my model. So we get the R squared, the adjusted R squared. Sigma statistic p-value. I believe that is the f-test there. Okay. We also have the Ikeike information criterion, the BIC, which is Bayesian information criterion, deviance, and so on. Okay. So uh, there some might be some sort of like statistical procedure where you need to pick them out. Okay. So I mean, for example, you could probably go. Um, five to seven, something like that. And just be able to pick out a subset. There we go. Now, just if you needed those particular ones, okay. Uh, the p-value, uh, you know, essentially you're able to pick out a subset of the columns there very easily, okay. Now, um, just actually to sort of demonstrate. So we've done it there for a regression model. So just for the sake of brevity, what I'm going, uh, just for the sake of completion, but I'm going to do it in a very brief way is I'm just going to sort of see what happens when I do a k-means analysis, okay? So k-means clustering analysis, uh, I'm just going to pick, use the iris data set, I'm going to pick out the first four columns of iris, which are the numeric columns, and I'm going to specify three clusters, okay? So what happens when I run that? I get all this information here, lots of information, and again, it's quite clunky, okay? So um, I'm trying to think, what do I really need here, okay? So, you know, it's, it's sort of, I just need a sort of nice tidy version of that. So what I'm going to do is call it KM model, okay? And it's, you know, it's a summary there. So this is what happens when I tidy it up. I get the mean for each, um, of the four variables for each cluster, okay? I get how many items in each cluster. I get it within sum of squares, so just to sort of measure how compact that cluster is and just the cluster number there, okay? So let's just see what that corresponds to. Oh, I think it's just a slightly different model. But anyway, it, uh, so 5.9. So it should sort of match up with one of these here. It doesn't exactly, I'm not quite sure why. Or well, actually I do know it's a sort of, it's a, uh, it's to, to do a random uh, random initiation. That's something to do with the k-means model, actually, rather than something to do with tidy. We kind of meant it. Now, again, when you're do, working with uh, the k-means model, model and then the data. So augment the model. Uh, so km model and then the data set we're going to apply it to. And there we have there the clusters, empty cars. Sorry, uh, sepal width, sepal length, petal width, petal length, and so on. Okay, and the cluster membership at the end there. Okay. All that there. And what happens here is at the end, I'll just sort of crop that. So it's only for six. So right at the end here, uh, we'll go down to the glance. And that is just a quick sort of set of uh, metrics for the k-means model. Anyway, that's it. Tidy, augment, and glance.